This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well then, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, memory heart. You guys, we are back. And Grace is drinking a kombucha, and I could not be prouder. Yeah, thank you. It's um, uh, it tastes like sparkling vinegar. Well, yeah, I was gonna say I'd never seen you drink a kombucha, and I didn't know when I watched you crack it open if you knew the vibe. What I was was getting into. This came from my recent hungry root delivery. Mm. More on that during the commercial break of this episode of the podcast wow we got a plug in in the first 30 (laughs) seconds of this bitch no they send a bunch of groceries of all kinds and uh i just grabbed this on my way out because it was in the fridge um it was that or a sugar-free red bull and it's 5 p.m and i opted for the unknown of the kombucha over the known insanity of the sugar-free red bull and it's fine it's just the (laughs) knowing like i told you before knowing that it supports digestive and immune health somehow makes it taste better it's good for (laughs) your gut i've been a kombucha fan like i'm sure people were drinking the booch like back in the 70s well you signed up for that secret booch club secret booch club (laughs) no so but i would used to drink it in new york and like now i can't find them on the shelves anymore but there was a while there where like kombucha yeah would still be like 0.5% alcohol yeah. because of the fermentation. And yeah. then they were like, oh shit, we got to like start marking this because like kids are doing it. Yeah. But I remember when I was working an office job in New York and it was so boring, like so boring. If you guys. How boring how- was it? <laughs> Like, We've both only worked office jobs for the smallest period small. of time. No, but it was when I worked at the recording studio and like I was working the front desk and they were like, hey, will you go work in accounting? And I was like, I'm not an accountant. <laughs> and they were like, no, we'll just show you how to like see who owes us money and then send them an invoice. Like I knew exactly how to do the four things they told me yeah. to do. And even still, I was never confident. Yeah. Like at any point when the <laughs> boss walked in, I was like, this is where they tell me I fucked up and cost the company $5 million. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how we feel every time uh, I send our footage to Nick, who edits yeah. our podcast every week. I'm waiting patiently for him to email back and be like, there's no sound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So uh, you were going under because of you. Uh-huh. But it was so boring that this was, I was like so excited I had access to a scanner. Oh, hell yeah. And I used to like, this is how little we knew about computers back in the day. Like, I would like w- write notes on a, like a post-it note, scan it, yeah. and then it would go on the computer, and then I would like post that on my blog. Oh, huge. Huge. That, that was so advanced. I was making No wonder like, you got into the career path you did. You know <laughs> it. You know it. But anyway, I would drink one of those kombuchas on the way to work and be like, you were not buzzed off 0.5% <laughs> alcohol, but it, like, gave me just enough. The placebo effect. The edge. Yeah. Um, but then uh, what's so funny is I also had a roommate situation. I lived with my friend Erin uh, for a minute in New York City, mm-hmm. and she was making her own kombucha. Whoa. And Whoa. my uh, God, is that gross looking. It's What is it called? The, the mother? mother? That Yeah, I, I learned about that also living in Brooklyn. I feel like it's a rite of passage to live in Brooklyn and to have some... To see kombucha somewhere being made in someone's shitty apartment. It's like Krang from... Yeah, it's like Alien. It's Teenage Mutant like, Ninja Turtles. Yeah. It was like a huge mason jar that was kept on top of our fridge <laughs> with like, you know, dish towels over it to block the light. And Grace, when I tell you, like, it made me scared to just get something out of the fridge. <laughs> like, I felt like I was approaching... The, you know, when you're like, oh, the basement is scary. Like, yeah. it was me going up to the fridge being like... I really hope I don't get a glimpse of the mother. Yeah, it's like, um, <laughs> have you ever heard of the Mudder Museum? It's like an oddities museum. There's no. one in Philly. I'm not sure if it's like a chain. I mean, I've been to many a weird, like, check out this bird with two head museum. Yeah, it's like yeah. that. I've never been to it because it's not my my Cup vibe. Of yeah, but it's like, you know, preserved weird anomalies in jars and stuff. And that's how I think of the mother. We... Oh, God. Oh, God. Like, I'm, I'm getting glimpses of the mother, which if you guys have never seen this before, don't look at it because it'll it'll be hard to get back into kombucha because it literally it looks like you're growing a blood clot while I'm for the first time having a thirst quenching sparkling kombucha. We started this off with you I, supporting me here. I forgot. No, but here's the deal. 
I respect it. This is this is a multi million yeah. dollar company. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Do I want to drink bucha from my Brooklyn roommate's no. fucking weird monster she's got growing Do in I the want kitchen? Anyone to pour a bucket into a glass and tell me to drink it? Yeah. <laughs> no. Like I definitely there was a moment there where I was like, I'm gonna wake up. And you're like, you're going to have died of botulism in the middle of the night. (laughs) It's not. Why can't we make pickles or something? The kombucha was a lot. But I mean, I like a hard kombucha. Now they just make them alcoholic, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've gone the other direction. Um, I will say we've we're back in. We haven't been back here in a while. Back house. And it feels so nice. I feel like we walked back into like. Clarissa explains it yeah, all's room. Totally. And we're just like, back in. Boop, boop, <laughs> uh, yeah, because Chip was out of town, so it was twofold. It was one, hey, do you want to record inside because we can keep the temperature correct? Yeah. And also, uh, I just, I let it get so Hor- Crazy. so hoarder back here <laughs> and then when he was coming back in town i was like i better get my life back together for a second so no it's nice it feels uh it feels safe it feels cozy it feels familiar we're back on set all the good things yeah i'm, I'm into it we're back on set oh um speaking what? of drinking things i got a crazy story for you oh god this was um i got a voice text the other day from val our sh- our mutual good friend yeah. uh, who did my makeup at the wedding, longtime oh. friend, love her very one of the closest, very much. She sent me a voice text, and that's when you know, like, oh, this is <laughs> what's going on here. I'm just now getting into voice texts. Oh, are you? See, I haven't gotten into them because uh, it feels like you're really um, making sure that someone's highly focused on. Well, what, I just but I get it when you have something really important to say. I have a couple friends who they always send them and yeah. I like rejected it and respond with text yeah and then I started doing voice text for me it's more very foreign to not add punctuation that's what I was gonna say when you do voice to text I'm like and then switch to voice text are you still trying to put in ap- oh, apostrophes and exclamation absolutely. points absolutely <laughs> it's a thousand percent like hey Larry exclamation point what are you mm-hmm. oh sorry I just did that hi Larry <laughs> like I don't need to add the exclamation point. Sorry, you guys. Larry is back and he's right off camera, so that's why. Uh, and it's... he looks better than ever. He looks like, better. He's had a great vacation in the Cayman Islands. We'll get to that. Tell me about this voice note. So this voice note, she goes, Grace, I got a, I got a great story for you that I think everything's fine. First of all, but uh, so last summer before we went to Vegas to get married, I knew that I wanted Val to come. And to help me with the hair and makeup. And so she came to my house and did a test for yeah. hair and makeup. And when she left, we had gotten like a ton of free cannabis quencher. This like cannabis um, infused beverages. And uh, it's like super high concentrate. So you can make your own kind of drinks from them. Oh, God. So I gave her one of those. She was on set working a job over the weekend. And she gets a call. And it's her house cleaner. And her house cleaner is like speaking to her in Spanish and trying to tell her that something's wrong. And Val's like, I don't know what's going on. She has to call like a friend to help like translate. And her friend was like, she drank something. She doesn't feel well. And so Val has to like rush off of set of this job. She's like trying to run home, but they had to call like paramedics before she got there. Her house cleaner had gone into the fridge, (laughs) found this now probably expired bottle of highly uh, concentrated cannabis like beverage. how many servings are in one of those val ended up finding after this woman was taken to the hospital found this woman drank 60 milligrams of concentrated cannabis like think of uh, an edible oh, I is know. 10 yeah and this woman was just doing her job cleaning val's apartment and then found this drink in the fridge poured it into a glass for herself drank it then started to feel crazy Could you- called Val to tell her that something was wrong and then had to go to the hospital. And I was like, <gasps> Actual she's worst fine. Nightmare. So I was like, okay, to like laugh at the humor of the situation. But holy shit, I was like, this poor woman, 60 milligrams when you are, one, probably not even used to a milligram no. of this. And two, in the middle of doing a job at someone else's apartment. When you're just sweeping and then all of a sudden oh it's God. like, what? Your brain is going, sweeping's weird, man. <laughs> Y'all also, ever thought about sweeping? And also, yeah, what's the point of the universe? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and like, Val's apartment back. is like, would be fun to be stoned in. Yeah. So like, she could have just oh. been laying on that bed for three hours. Exactly. I, and Val was like, she went past all of the LaCroix and went straight to this. <laughs> 
<laughs> which also has a top that's like childproof. So this one was probably confused why this was so hard to get into. It was a bold beverage choice. Oh my god! I'll say that sixty. I thought because the bottle itself is a hundred, so I thought she would, had done a hundred, and I was like, this woman is gonna be high for a week. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Is she? Has she checked in on her since? I have to check in with Val. Okay. Uh, we're that getting lunch so later this week, but. Yeah, it was uh, Val was like, I'm sure she'll be fine. She'll just have munchies for a bit. Yeah, I was like for like three days. <laughs> it was so crazy. That is so and scary. And also it's expired, too, which I didn't realize till I was telling another friend and they were like, it's expired. And that's not you shouldn't. I don't know exactly what the side effects are I have, of that. I have Googled that because I had some like weed stuff in oh, my right. fridge and I'd never take it. And I was like, oh, this would be fun. I'll try to do this. And like in lieu of like having a couple cocktails yeah. at night and like try to mix that up a little bit. And then I Googled it because they were all expired and they were like, it probably just lessens the effects. Oh, so if anything, so that worked it, in her favor. If anything, she only had 50 milligrams. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Sometimes no. I have a 10 milligram edible and I'm like, oh, Elliot, I got to go to bed and really think about what my spiritual choice is in this life. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Speaking of choices, yeah. which I just, I want to, I love this. You came over and I was like, you're wearing such a professional shirt. And you were Thank like, you. I was supposed to go to my gynecologist. <laughs> I mean, dressing talk- up for the gyno we is all- No, great. I wore it because it's a button down that I could take it off easily. I don't oh. know why. As if I, it was like I was going to get my hair done or something. My brain was like, I also haven't been in two years. So I think I was like, I got to let her know I'm a professional <laughs> woman when I get there. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to go to the gynecologist. And as soon as I undo my pants, it's going to be like, woo, woo, woo. Bow, 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 <laughs> and just tumbleweeds shooting out because I have not been in so long. You guys go get your go get your go things get checked. checked. I'm in the Don't uh, do as I do. Say as I say. Don't do as I say. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Has two sips of kombucha. Can't remember. No, I yeah, I fully went in Ina Garden cosplay to I can't look yes. at a blue button down on a woman without thinking that she's dressed like Ina Garden. Ina is really crushing it for me lately. Did yeah. you see the clip of her? I forget like what what who's interviewing her, but it, it's on TikTok a lot where she goes, "Well, that's what I do, but you can do whatever the fuck you want to do." Like, <laughs> no, I like she's but I believe she's it. like really sassy and then I saw her on an interview I think it was like CBS Sunday morning or something. Yeah. And she was making cocktails with the host and Jeffrey came in and gave her a kiss <laughs> and whatnot. And she was like, afternoon cocktails. She was. And the host said, so are like cocktails with your with your guy, like the secret to your happy marriage. She yeah. goes, no, two cocktails throughout the day is a secret <laughs> to my house. I was like, Ina, I'm obsessed with you. Love it. I'm writing a script right now. And I uh, wrote in an Ina Garten nice. drag queen. Oh my God! Amazing. Dancing to Bon Appetit by Katy Perry. <laughs> uh, so, well, that's like, did you see the clip of Martha? Uh, I was going to bring her up. Yeah, that she's drinking a what is it? A Martharita? A pomegranate margarita called a Martharita. Yeah, and she's at like some Samsung event, like on a panel on stage, and somehow she's drinking this margarita from a clear measuring. Uh, cup yeah like it's got ice in it like it's full on and she's just answering questions in these like sparkly shoes and then just like drinking from a measuring cup and then putting it on the stage honestly it (laughs) gave playlist live vibes yes it did (laughs) yes it did (laughs) Uh, because literally like there's some kid to her left that's like a tiktoker that's like holding his phone and it's just like in all this weird clothes and she's just she's 81 82 she's never looked better and what i love is i saw recently one of those comments by celebs or whatnot when yeah. someone says, how do you still look so good? And she's like, I do this green juice every day. I do this. I do that. Um, no alcohol. And then an hour later, I see her on stage <laughs> with a mar- with like a 30 ounce margarita. Yeah. You know, use it when you can. Do as I say, not, not as, as I do. There we go. There we go. I saw the dumbest Instagram not Instagram, TikTok Live. You know how I've been <gasps> bitching about the haunted ones, yeah, the cursed ones? and the people sleeping. Yeah, people sleep yeah. while like something creepy happens behind uh, them. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. And well, I'm sorry, too, for y'all's algorithms for those who listen to this on their phone because I got a <laughs> lot of people send me screen grabs and it was like, now it's recommended to me. <laughs> like, I've never <laughs> seen these cursed image and now there's a couple sleeping with, you know, Pennywise behind them. I, <laughs> it was an entire channel uh-huh. or account that was just, it was a close-up 
of a hair straightener with two popcorn kernels between it, waiting to see which one popped first. I saw that the other day. I went past it, and I was like, and I, as I went past it, I was like, should I go back and look at that? That looked like they were up to something. <laughs> just, they were like, all right, guys, is it left or, or right? Which one's going to pop first, left or right? And I'm like, where? This seems like something you would do when you were like eight years old yeah. and you truly weren't allowed to watch TV for like three weeks. Yeah. Like, how do we get to the point of, you know what's some good TikTok live footage? Dude, we really thought that we had exhausted all of the idiot ideas mm-hmm. in the early years of YouTube through all of our collabs. But here we are. I stand corrected. There are still opportunities for we, content. We underestimated ourselves, man. Uh, did you stop? Did you watch? Was it I left did. or right? It was left. Okay. <laughs> Do I kind of want to try it on my own? A little bit. Well, yeah. Just for fun to see if it actually works. But <laughs> I swear to God, Grace. We have to do that. We have to hang up, record it for Patreon right after this. I have a hair straightener <laughs> and I have popcorn kernels. Okay. How long does it take? I don't, I mean, like if you have your hair straightener on like 450, it's got to be pretty quick, right? I would assume. But this is, this is how also how scientists talk about their experiments before yeah. they do them. What's the constant? What's the variable? You Man, you guys are really missing out on Patreon when you're getting content like that. Truly. Okay, let's say you've been stewing about a health problem that you have, and you almost resort to texting your group chat to get your friends' opinions. You're extremely unlikely to find quality medical advice in your group chat, but you can find it from a doctor on ZocDoc. Thousands of medical professionals on ZocDoc are there to help you. They listen like a friend and give you the expert care that you need. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. No more Dr. Roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor that you haven't even met yet. Millions of people use ZocDoc's free app to find and book a doctor in their neighborhood who is a patient-reviewed doctor and fits their needs and schedule just right if you're interested go to zocdoc.com weird and download the zocdoc app for free then find and book a top rated doctor today many are available within 24 hours that's z-o-c-d-o-c dot com slash weird zocdoc.com slash weird y'all we have all done it yours truly included you have signed up for an app and then forget you ever signed up for it or meant to cancel the little you know free week trial and then all of a sudden you are being charged for it for years on end if i told you the apps that i've been signed up for that i forgot about oh my gosh in fact I'm not alone. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about, and chances are you guys are one of them. You know you've signed up for something just to watch one show on it, and then you finish the show, and now you're still paying for it. Well, luckily, there is Rocket Money. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you, and for any of you who don't want to pay for any more, you just hit cancel, and guess what? Rocket Money cancels it for you. Yeah, they're the muscle. They go in and they say, "Uh uh-uh, you ain't getting another month's money out of my client. Rocket Money helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses. So you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. In fact, over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Now, wouldn't you like to spend that money somewhere else instead of on the Stars app? Or wherever you download it and you never use it again. Try Rocket Money and figure out how much your subscriptions really cost, okay? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, and they actually spend about $200. And you don't know exactly what you're spending every month. You need Rocket Money. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. That's rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. Rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. For real, though, I think I ended up saving like $60 a month. Oops. What's for dinner? If that question stresses you out, listen up. Hungry Root will fill your fridge with healthy food and simple recipes so you can fill your schedule with stuff that you enjoy doing more. Hungry Root is the easiest way to get fresh, high quality food delivered to your door. They've got healthy groceries and simple recipes all in one place. You take a fun, short quiz and Hungry Root will get to know you, your goals and how you like to eat. What flavors do you like? Which kitchen appliances do you use? They'll keep your needs 
needs on the top of their mind and start building your cart. Hungry Root will recommend groceries based on your tastes. Take their suggestions or choose anything you want. They've got fresh produce, high quality meat and seafoods, pantry staples, healthy snacks and sweets, and so much more. I literally just opened my Hungry Root delivery right before recording this ad, and I uh, am full of treasures from them in the kitchen department, and I'm testing out some gluten-free options for myself, and they have everything that I never knew existed in the gluten-free world, so I'm huge into this. Hungry Root goes beyond your weekly grocery haul with thousands of easy recipes that actually put your groceries to good use before they get forgotten in the back of your fridge. The best part is everything that Hungry Root offers follows a simple standard. It's got to taste good, be quick to make, and contain whole trusted ingredients. Spend less time shopping and cooking and more time enjoying healthy food that you'll actually love with Hungry Root. Right now, Hungry Root is offering This Might Get Weird listeners 30% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. What? <laughs> okay, just go to HungryRoot.com slash TMGW to get 30% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. That's HungryRoot.com slash TMGW. Don't forget to use our link so they know that we sent you. Oh, speaking of, I wanted to say it on the real pod. Yeah. Um, That this month's Barflies, which you are not too late to join because, honey, I haven't started it, is a movie... A uh, movie... <laughs> <laughs> our, book club, our book club's Freudian movie slip. this this month <laughs> is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by someone. Everyone's talking about how much they either wanted to read that book or have already read it and loved it. Yeah. So, I've only cool. heard a couple people be like, oh, not my fave or whatever. Because oh, really? normally, you know, you get all over the place. It's Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. So Ooh. if you want to join the book club, we've, you know, do you have a date for the live stream yet I don't, or just towards the end of the month? I, it's usually towards the end or like sometimes, you know, I have, I have to take a couple extra days. Yeah. 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 So we'll see. It's a, it's a fat book and not just because <laughs> I accidentally ordered large print for the third time in a row. You can wait a minute. You can order large print specifically. Yeah. Did I know this? Maybe I did, but I forgot. And that's very exciting to me to hear. <laughs> oh, Grace, I actually. How do you do it? Well, on Amazon? Yeah. Um, so I think I'm fed that version first because of my oh. previous fuck up one. Yeah. And because at one point I was getting a book for the book club and the only one available was large print. Like it was okay. a popular one. Yeah. And so I was like, yeah, fuck it, large print. So now I think that's like the first one that pops up for me. Damn. But Grace, when you read it in public. It feels like you just pulled out a ladybug phone to make a call. A jitterbug. Like, a jitterbug. <laughs> a jitterbug. Like people are looking at you like you have fallen and can't get up. I think it's great because you look back at them and just be like, I'm reading. What are you doing with your life? Yeah. I'm reading while not straining what's left of my eyesight. Oh, man. I got to look into that. That sounds great because that's my biggest complaint with reading these days. Is the that words sometimes, are too small. And then it's like just the psychological like task when you see a page with such small print mm -hmm. that emotionally I just don't even want to like take it on here's a thing yeah. with the larger print too I feel like you are I feel like you would be a person especially because you're doing nonfiction and more yeah. like self-helpy stuff yeah that would maybe take notes in the margin yeah I feel like the margins are bigger oh okay everything's bigger with these books okay <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get into it I mean how <laughs> old am I that now I'm doing 10 minutes now on why we should be reading in large I, print I want it large print and I'd like for <laughs> each chapter to have one page that's just a little summary of what happened in that yeah. chapter so I can refresh myself. the cliff notes yeah. yeah we need the previously on <laughs> before the next chapter um Oh, God. I love it. Well, well yeah, sign up to our Patreon if you want to be part of book club. I'll pick a book for the next month that, yeah. like Mamrie says, nonfiction, Mamrie handles fiction. All very fun. Girl, hmm. now we're going to, now let's talk like w the youngins that we are. Okay. The Taylor Swift breakup. I have it in my notes, too. Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn broke up after, what, six years? Six years. I didn't realize they were together for that long. Me neither. He's a quiet fella. The whole relationship is quiet. Mm -hmm. Like, that is truly out of all of her successes one of the biggest ones that she was able to keep her relationship so insanely private through the course of six years my biggest reaction to it because all of like the pr statements were like it happened um the, it just ran its course and the split was like amicable mm -hmm. that i'm like how do we get music out of that situation exactly why i brought it up <laughs> because i'm like well okay a couple things i don't i don't know if it's two or three mm -hmm. is did they already break up before tour started mm. and then they were just like, hey, let's just get 
let's just get into the tour so the tour isn't about the breakup. Right. You know what I mean? Like from a PR standpoint where right. you're like, oh, this will change the tour, you know? Right. Where she's like, I'm going to have so much social media going on right. from people attending my tour. This will fe- this will get a little buried. Yeah. And people will see that I'm okay. Like, did they actually break up months ago? Or did they actually break up when she's on the road on tour? Because that feels like a lot. I don't know. I mean, all the questions are there because I'm sure... Like they said, one of the re- like immediately the articles were like, and that's the reason that he hasn't been at any of her shows. So I think I wonder if like the speculation mm. was already starting because her fans are wild about because oh, she yeah. she does a service and a disservice to herself by putting Easter eggs and everything. So everyone tries to read into every little thing she does oh. constantly. Everyone's looking for clues. She's just like constantly a walking like murder mystery podcast. <laughs> and they- <laughs> And so, like, I feel people, like, were looking for him at shows and then speculating that he wasn't mm. there. So now they have to get ahead of it before that takes the headline over, like, the work she's actually doing. Totally. But as far as new music goes, because, look, we got a we got a breakup. I want a reputation album. Yeah. So my only hope, mm. since it was amicable, mm-hmm. my only hope, and sorry to say this, Taylor, <gasps> is that he rebounds with, like, a total, like, Whoa. famous or like an Instagram model or like something. he goes rogue like goes he, totally weirdly public with someone with like someone who's the opposite of her yeah. and that like flips a switch and then we get some like good music he where like dates Pete Davidson yeah! <laughs> I love all the memes of Melania Trump with Pete Davidson it's perfect uh, yeah but I also I'm like can you imagine a world in which Taylor Swift creates music that isn't about a relationship what if her future is making music about other situations in the adult human condition? But really, when you think about it, what music isn't about love? Fair. I'm trying to think where like, well, there's that one artist. Who, I mean, like there'll be inspiring stuff like Pink does stuff. That's like, you know, like <laughs> about being strong and you know. there's songs about like partying. Okay, <laughs> but you know the Taylors will be like, and then he, and then I saw you for across the party. Yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, New yeah. York, and yeah. we were drinking wine, and it was New York, <laughs> and it was two a.m. and the whiskey was neat, and so were you. You smelled of cigarettes. <laughs> right. Um, total smoke show. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we get. I'm curious. I'm hoping we get like a new era. I mean, look, the tour says it all. It's right there. I do oh, like. Right. we gotta get tickets we gotta get tickets i'm still holding out that maybe somehow free tickets land in our lap in some capacity when is she in la i think in august so there's time yeah so there's still some time but um yeah i saw that she's gonna be in tampa and like the mayor of tampa asked her like does she want to be mayor for the day or something i was like first tucson changes their name (laughs) i know and now, do you want to be mayor for the day? Now I'm curious. Every town that she's in, I want to see them step up. And what yeah. weird proposition are they going to give Taylor as gratitude for her bringing her tour to their town and totally. raising all of these like tourism finances across like, the board? If you've got a, a bald face mountain and you don't Mount Rushmore that uh-huh. bitch for Taylor, like get started now. There has to be the Taylor Rushmore of her <laughs> different eras. Like she's in one of those bank commercials. Exactly. <laughs> um what is that bank she she's like the it's like city bank or what have you seen the commercials oh where she's like getting a glass of wine in like a delta lounge it or bothers something? me it bothers me <laughs> and i'll tell you why i mean it's fine she loves to have people like all the different versions of her talk to each other yes. all the time like that's yeah. a theme she loves to like be the different uh, taylor's she all the shows time. all of her personas everywhere but i was also like taylor and this commercial yeah you look like you're cutting in line yeah, it does. And I would be like, I don't care if you are T Swift. And I don't care how bad you want that just white wine didn't specify exactly. Pinot Grigio or whatnot. <laughs> I was in this Delta Lounge line first. That is fair. I did think that there was a little bit of uh it was just a strange situation, but hey, what's stranger? Her getting in the elevator with all of her personality. That's true. Um, I really want to see this show. Okay, we'll get you there. Well, we'll um, try. I passed by a sign in my neighborhood mm-hmm. uh, the other day and I just thought it was so funny so you know the store in my neighborhood the crystal matrix yes I do so it's it's got fr- the greatest sign it's just exactly crystal matrix crystal matrix <laughs> huge letters very <laughs> blunt but it's one of those stores for y'all listening that like you can go get like an amethyst 
the size of a door. Yeah, I've well, I've been in there. Have I've, you? I've never been in. Oh, I've been in there. Um, did you buy anything? Uh, no. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. The person I was with bought something. Uh, but it's one of those stores where like, I realize I'm my body's all elbows. Like oh, when yeah. you walk in, you're just walking in like, oh fuck, they've set this store up, so I'm gonna have to pay for something after I break it. Oh <laughs> shit! But also too, like amethysts, like there's certain crystals where yeah. you just don't want to get cut. Yeah. I remember when I was huge shit in there. The huge. Yeah. Like bookends and yeah. other things. I remember someone when I was at summer camp and uh, in North Carolina. And of course, we had the hippie girls because we were outside of Asheville. Yeah. And someone being like, maybe I'm like, I cannot sleep. And her being like, well, put an uh, put an amethyst under your pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. fully like, that sounds painful. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't realize you could get, like, something polished. I was like, uh, yeah, no thanks. Okay, I'm going to put a rock under my pillow. Yeah, right. You idiot. <laughs> but no, I walked past, and they had a sale sign. Okay. For April Fool's Day. They called it the Fool's Sale. And I was like, that's the craziest day of the year to have a sale because was that a joke? <laughs> or were you calling people who like crystals fools? Well, there's also the fool card in a tarot deck. So it oh. might be in reference to that. <laughs> so there might be some uh, something there. But because uh, they know they have classes in the back there, too. Not oh. to be all, well, name we actually the history of the fool. <laughs> I'm into it. And Grace, if you don't think I don't check that calendar to see if there's something you and I should go to together, you're oh. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you, by the way, speaking of April Fool's, did you get fooled on anything? Nothing. I didn't. Where even was I? I, I, think, got, like, I think I was in the Caymans. Like, Larry didn't do shit. Yeah. He didn't fool me once. No, I got, um, did I guess I got, no, not at all. And I just got, like, I don't know, weirded out that people were trying to <laughs> fool people. <laughs> when anyone did, like, a April Fool's thing, I was just like, why, guys? Ever, we're in the healing culture right now, and everyone's right. trying to regulate themselves. Why are we doing this? The closest <laughs> I came, and I mean, I used to be a person who would April Fool. You yeah, know? I, I would think about it, and I would pick a target, and I would do it. <laughs> but I mean, the closest I came this year is going on Twitter and seeing brands pretend to be releasing like a yeah. very dumb product. Every brand now has to try and do their April Fools thing. I think they're planning next year's right now. Probably. <laughs> Did you see, speaking of brands, big news in uh -oh. the world of the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Oh! Big news. What? Uh, they're offering free weddings in Vegas uh, for a limited time. Let me find the dates on these. I think it's April tw uh, 16th and 17th. Wow. Wait, yeah. just in front of it? No, so it's uh, from a oh, April 15th to April 16th. Fans of the iconic hot dog-shaped vehicle will have the chance to say I do in its newly revamped Wienermobile located outside Las Vegas's Little White Chapel. Whoa. So this limited time opportunity will allow couples to enjoy a live Wiener Whistle Quartet. <laughs> oh, my God. A custom wedding cake shaped like a wiener dog. Plenty of photo ops and a pun-filled ceremony officiated by Oscar Mayer's very own hot doggers. Okay, so many I questions. Mean, I mean, first of all, it's in great. In Vegas and the Wienermobile, I can't help but feel like we had a part of this. <laughs> I have a wiener whistle in my hand. Yeah. Oh, no, this is just a little a little guy that scoots around. Uh, but we have wiener whistles. I feel like, <laughs> Grace, I'm going to say it. Yeah. I feel like you and I single-handedly brought the Wienermobile hype back. I feel like we became its street team unofficially, and now all of these endeavors that they're getting into, mm -hmm. like we sort of somehow like universally inspire this. <laughs> Vegas, I believe, was the or no, it was Salt Lake. I can't remember where I originally left the note on the Wienermobile. Yeah, where we started. Oh, was it? Yeah, where we wow. started the relationship. I started the text relationship with the hot dogger, and then we eventually met not only the Wienermobile. But the peanut mobile. Oh. And if you guys are new listeners, go find that episode yep. because it it's iconic. I mean, if you want to listen to two adult women talk through the joy that they've experienced, mm -hmm. it was profound. I profound. wasn't really prepared. I have a question about this ceremony. Though. Yeah. Why is the cake shaped like a wiener dog? I don't like, know. As in like a dachshund? I guess so. I don't know. They don't explain. I'm just reading a people.com article on it. They say basically that uh, they receive thousands of requests each year to be part of couples big days. So this oh. is like their attempt to kind of, I guess, handle those requests. Um, I bet people are like, can you please be our food truck? 
and hand out hot dogs. Yeah. Well, it says each chosen couple will be given a 30 minute time slot to tie the knot in front of the 27 hot, 27 foot hot dog on wheels that will be dressed to impress, serving up a unique, joyful wedding experience. Is that that wiener is going to be wearing a bow tie? I guess. I don't even know. Oh, Good but it's got you. all the little streamers on the back of it. Like it's the oh, you like get like just a, married car. You get like the little photo op. Well, I mean, I love it. If you're going to get married on a whim in Vegas anyway, like yeah. why not make it as stupid as possible? Oh, my God. A live wiener whistle quartet. That's going to be hilarious and super annoying real quick. <laughs> yeah, because it's real great if you're the first couple to get married. But if you're in line behind 70 couples and you've heard whistles do here come the bride 70 times also i feel like a 30 minute time slot is luxury we had like 10 minutes or something crazy well you were supposed to have 10 and then your officiant talked about his divorce for (laughs) for a fair amount of time wait we gotta get you taylor swift tickets because you guys used her song to leave the i know to leave the reception what is that rings what is that called Procession walk? The pr- procession, okay. But like, is procession on the way in? I don't know. And recession that's- on the way back? <laughs> depression? Yeah, depression that walk. That it's over? Uh, oh, man. I think, I believe in us. So you can go, it says you can go to their website and submit to be one of these couples. And if anyone does and gets Let accepted, my goodness, please send us your photos from the, your nuptials. Oh. Because that sounds wonderful and stupid and everything I'm all about. Okay, who doesn't love soaking up the sun this time of year? But with all that time in the sun, you gotta be concerned about protecting your skin. Not with native sunscreen. You can give your skin the protection it needs and soak up some much needed sun. Native's quick absorbing, ultra sheer, hydrating and lightweight sunscreen formula offers broad spectrum SPF 30 protection from UVA and UVB rays. All native sunscreen is made with a 20% active zinc oxide formula that is dermatologist tested and suitable for sensitive skin. All native sunscreen is made with oils derived from plants that seal in skin moisture and is vegan and cruelty free choose from one of native's three delicious but subtle scents like coconut and pineapple rose or sweet peach and nectar for your face and your body or you can try native's unscented option personally i have the coconut and pineapple i love it very much i live with a florida boy and he also approves wholeheartedly with all native sunscreen you get protection from the sun that is free of chemical actives oxybenzone oxtinox and avobenzone, you know, all of those chemical actives that roll off the tongue, which makes native sunscreen compliant with the Hawaii Act 104, which was passed in an effort to protect Hawaii's reefs. Give your skin the protection it deserves with Native's Mineral Sunscreen. Go to nativedo.com slash TMGW or use promo code TMGW at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash TMGW or use promo code TMGW at checkout. nativedo.com slash TMGW or promo code TMGW. With HelloFresh, you are going to get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That, my friends, is why it's America's number one meal kit. Here's the cool thing, is that it's pre-portioned, okay? Good food is too precious to waste. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and for the planet. Okay, spend less time in the kitchen with quick and easy meals. I mean, you can do the 15-minute recipes. You can tell them if you're vegetarian. You can tell them exactly what you like, and they are going to send you a fun thing to cook. I'm telling you, it's a good date night, especially if you don't really know how to cook. HelloFresh will make it easy and then you and your little honey bun can make a meal together. Ooh la la. I love going on HelloFresh and picking out the recipes for the week. It's so much fun. Recently, I tried the Get this, hot honey brussels and ricotta flatbread. You know it. You know they use name brand Mike's Hot Honey. That shiz is delicious. So if you would like to try that recipe and more, because they are always changing every single week, why don't you give it a shot? Go to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW50 and use code TMGW50 for, drumroll please, 50% off your first box 
and it ships free. That is HelloFresh.com slash TMGW50 and use the code TMGW50 for 50% off. Do you guys not like free food? Do you not like fun? Yes, you do. Go give it a shot. Tell them we sent you. Did you hear that the Idaho Potato Commission, what they tried to pull for Easter? The Idaho... <laughs> Hmm. Oh, these nefarious folks in the Idaho Potato Commission, the mafia of the potato world. What are these pranksters up to now? These lowlifes. Just kidding. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, just kidding. If anything, these are kidding. gods among men. I love potatoes. We love potatoes so much. I've been daydreaming about making homemade potato chips for like a week. Oh, that sounds really uh, great. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm. What? You know what I'm going to do? Because now, <laughs> now Chip is home, so I actually have someone to cook for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been eating, like, sad, sad, healthy meals. Mm-hmm. Now I can, like, loosen up, up loosen up a little bit. Is I want to make, because you know I'm not, like, a big sour cream girl. Okay. Or, yeah. like, cream cheese or mayonnaise or any of that. Yeah. But I am craving the idea of an onion dip. <gasps> so I'm going mm. to make cashew cream onion dip fuck that sounds great so like a vegan onion dip and i'm gonna caramelize the yeah. onions and get like the this and then i'm gonna make little new potato potato chips so they're gonna be like little potato chips for oh dipping. my god i know my entire mouth is uh full of saliva right now <laughs> i'm doing it tomorrow night and i've been thinking about it for 18 hours <laughs> This is when I, I think I'm ADHD. No, this is how good art gets made. <laughs> you got to think about it, really build yourself up. I mean, I'm sitting here working on a script, only thinking about mandolin. Do I mandolin the potato? <laughs> or do, like, what, what should be the thickness? Like, I'm obsessed. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh-huh. the Idaho Potato Commish. Okay, okay. Okay. They suggested to people that because the price of eggs was so high, what people should do is peel a potato... Then you put it in water with distilled vinegar for 20 to 30 minutes to like stop any oxidation, I guess. Okay. Pull that out and then paint those for Easter instead of eggs. Paint the potato. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we were, in my mind, we were going towards an edible dish here. (laughs) Wait, what? They suggested this past Easter. instead of eggs for Easter to paint the potatoes. To paint potatoes. (laughs) To paint potatoes and, and hide those. (laughs) <laughs> those are kids here's the question i don't know why they suggested peeling them first i guess to look more white like an egg instead i would be like hey why don't we just paint potatoes white and right. then or just paint the potatoes fully right because paint the potatoes i don't know if we've all <laughs> collectively <laughs> paint the potatoes. i don't know if we've all collectively um like admitted that the holiday of easter is fucking weird for kids real weird we've already gone through that this older man comes down our chimney during the winter time and gives you gifts now while you're sleeping this rabbit comes into our house hides eggs for some reason and also gives you some candy and some other things so now we want to keep the potatoes pure so the children will be able to not know the difference in this like very normal fantasy that they live once a year i but also, if you are... Wait, go- do, they, do they turn colors? Well, I think they... I mean, like, not the intended colors. Like, do they paint them and then do the colors, I guess, preserve, stay preserved? I don't know. What a, a waste po- of a potato. A potato feels very porous. Yeah. You know, and it also feels like it sweats a little bit. You know, I, that's not <sighs> sticking to it. But then what do you... you get, that's such a waste. Thank it's you so much. such a waste. Much. And then what are you supposed to do? Make, like, rainbow mashed potatoes? You can't eat the paint. Maybe... Re- you know this by now. You can't it? eat the paint. I'm over here just salivating. <laughs> yeah. The the lady from the director of marketing at Potatoes USA. Can you imagine having that job? Wow. We would kill it. That I mean, that is. She's the head of marketing. Head of marketing at Potatoes USA. So that means you started out working in some capacity and then you got promoted. You stayed with Potatoes and you decided this is your company. You were Potato Front Desk Girl you for were a like, while. Yeah, I see Potatoes out in the market. I think their PR team is slacking. So look, here's what I can do for them. This is why I was so thrown. First of all, I was like, you don't need marketing for potatoes. They're universally, universally loved. They're perfect. They're yeah. absolutely perfect. If we're going to get in there, then like, I've got ideas. Yeah. I don't know if painting them and throwing them in the lawn is the way to That wouldn't be my potatoes. first foray into how to push potatoes. She said, as a mom of two kids, I'm constantly looking for new activities. The idea of painting potatoes made me laugh, but honestly, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Marissa Stein said, 
My kids loved experimenting with different designs. It was silly and a great way to spend time with family. And I and she said, oh, God, I mean, it's just like then just get your kids an easel. That's what I was saying. And just paint. Why do we got to ruin our potatoes with it? (laughs) Yeah. And why? Because do they I assume they just all go in the trash then after you find them. And I thought. So do you I don't know. It's been a long time since I've participated in Easter. But is the idea that you paint the eggs and just for decoration because there's egg hunts. That's what I was thinking. Well, I was going to ask. I was thinking the potatoes are getting used in the egg hunt situation. I think this was more of just this like for a, decoration, like a craft, an activity, an activity. This but woman still, seems like she hates her children. But also, it's like you're going to make them do art, and then you can't just leave a potato out for a week, right? So, like, essentially, you're just like, do you like it, kids? All right, now we're throwing it away. What do they do with the painted eggs? Do you have to boil them first, hard boil them, then paint them? Yeah. And then, oh, because you can cut the shell off. That's what I remember doing. We would peel our eggs later and then eat them so you don't waste them. This is just a pure waste of a beautiful product. You guys, we've waged a war Mm. with the potato industry. (laughs) I I can't be in conflict with them, though, because I can't be shut out from using their product. (laughs) I know. I do. Oh, God. I love potatoes so much. I've really been trying to quit. Yeah. (laughs) I've really been trying no, to quit, but I can't no quit them. Thing. They're the one thing that does agree with my stomach. And if they ever don't, I'll ignore it. <laughs> That's how it'll go. No, you won't. That kombucha will heal you right up, girl. Exactly. exactly. Absolutely and atutely. Um, did I tell you I signed up for another class? You didn't tell me. You told Lens Day on Patreon. Patreon and we Patreon. haven't had time to talk about it yet. Yeah, I got excited about looking at classes just for like casual fun i miss a little bit of the pressure of an environment to learn in Mm -hmm. and i found this class called happiness theory research and application in positive psychology holy shit quite a mouthful so i'm going to spend the next 11 weeks learning about happiness and how it's researched and measured and the theories on it in positive psychology, which is a highly wow. contested field as far as I've only been in there for a week and only just started like reading the course material. But it's like uh, I'm very curious about it because positive psychology is like highly contested because people don't believe you can really like measure these things mm. or they haven't found yet a universal kind Metric of method. system. Yeah. To test uh, and to like gather the research. Um, so it's really interesting. We'll see. And I have to, I think I have to like do different activities and do, I don't know what they are yet. I probably, they're probably on the website. I just haven't To see if it produces happiness within yourself? I think so. Or (gasps) to like, yeah, there's, I think a lot of experiential learning in this class. So we'll see. Remember me as I am now, a total curmudgeon in 11 weeks. Yeah, right. Curmudgeon. I'm like the the biggest (laughs) winner of this experiment is Elliot. Yeah, I know. He's like, you're going to take a class about uh, happiness research? Could you imagine if Chip said that? I'd be like, okay, Grandma, we're going to check you into the facility. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I'm curious. I don't know much about it yet, but I will, you know, report my findings to you all as they apply. 11 weeks? 11 weeks. I mean, I guess 10 now, considering I signed up last week. But it was one of those things where the class, the day I was looking for it, the class had started that day, and I was like, what am I waiting for? Wow. So you're taking an 11 week course on the psychology of happiness. And I'm thinking for three days about how I want to cut potato chips. <laughs> but see that, that this is, this is technically an experiment in happiness. This is bringing Wait a sec. <laughs> am I your, what is subject? Potentially. Yeah. You're looking at, what did I learn earlier? Eudonic happiness, finding purpose and passion in your life. Wow. Yeah, and, and meaning. You're so smart. No, I'm, I am really not. I'm learning a lot of words. The fun thing is that my professor is like still in grad school. Uh, so oh. they're like a younger person. Mm-hmm. And there's only like eight people in this class. And I'm pretty sure they're all like grad, like uh, undergrads or postgrads. Okay. <laughs> so I think I'm like the, the narc in this class. That's like, hello, everyone. I came to this class just out of fun for me. <laughs> to see what's you going absolutely on. <laughs> have to just wear your Ina Garten shirt to every class and be like, I'm an adult lady. <laughs> I know there's only like three zooms or something okay. and that we'll see what happens with those but we all had to do like introductions of ourselves like last week um could do you think anyone recognized you did you see anyone yeah you know, and it's super casual I don't even think half the class like put their actual introductions on there yeah. so we'll see it's um I've never 
usually in all of the stuff I've been a part of, I've felt like on the younger range right. of it. So this one, I'm like, I think I'm definitely like a decade older than everyone. I love this. Class. Class. So it'll be interesting. We'll see. Oh, my God. I went. So I went last night to pick up Larry and Chip from the airport. Chip hasn't mm. been home in three months, mm-hmm. you know, so it was a big deal. But as we were, first of all, when I got to Larry and he's yeah. in the sling because Chip carries him in a sling. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. It's like mind blowing like my my whole body explodes <laughs> it's so cute but i came up behind and i was like hey what's up larry jumped out of the <gasps> sling and onto me like a monkey oh. it was so cute but then as we were leaving uh and we're like walking to the parking deck first time i've ever parked at lax that's how you know yeah. i'm in love you were yeah serious. i was like what is this <laughs> what is this <laughs> um but uh, someone was just like wait are you memory heart and i was like yes and he was like, can I take a selfie with you? I was like, of course. We took one. And then he goes back to his family. Yeah. And I was just like, that's Hollywood, baby. You, <laughs> la- oh, like, you land in L.A. And you like within five minutes on a family trip, yeah. he immediately like saw someone. Oh, I, I mean, great. like a very D-list uh, personality. But I was still just like, oh, that warmed my heart. Oh, that's sweet. I was so good. But anyway, Larry is here. Love it. Larry looks great. He is perfect. Well, you know why. Hmm. Chip says I fattened him up, which was in a good way. Yeah. But like his neck was beefy What by the time <laughs> I brought him. And like he got weighed for his health certificate to leave and then weighed yeah. back. And Chip was like, yeah, he's lost half a pound since I've had him the last month. But in my defense, it rained here for like two months. Yeah. So I was like, these dogs didn't walk. Yeah, exactly. Plus, Larry needed to put some meat on his bones. He oh, was, yeah. Yeah. He was looking a little underweight before. Now he's perfect. Yeah. But I have news. Uh Oh, OK. He is already a tattoo on Mary's body. <gasps> what? Larry I'm is on Mary already? Already. I'm in Palm Springs <laughs> last weekend, uh, last week. And I think I told you I was like, I, I had a, I was hosting a couple people for their birthday, yeah. but then I was just working. And then I, and I was like, I haven't even been in the hot tub like the, yeah. all week like that's how you know I'm like stressed out so I was like I'm finally gonna just get in the hot tub all the guests have left have a glass of wine in the middle of the day I got in there and then I get a text from Mary that just goes call me <laughs> I was like Jesus <laughs> Christ like this is a woman who's woken me up at 3 a.m. because yeah. her appendix burst and she needed to tell someone oh. she was about to go on her anesthesia so I was just like Jesus Christ so I, oh. I'm in the, I'm finally relaxed yeah and I call her on the hot tub and she goes don't worry, it's nothing bad. I was like, well, thank you. That is a great way to answer it. And she goes, I'm going to send you a text right now. I need you to, I want you to check it while we're on the phone. I go, <laughs> okay, cryptic much. <laughs> and then she, I put her on speaker. I look and it, here comes a tattoo of Larry oh my in God. like a Dodgers cursive font. And she was like, isn't it fabulous? Oh. I was like, oh my God. It's, I mean. Just the word Larry? Yeah, I'll show you the pic. But Which is fantastic because when you look at Mary, you're like, that must have been a, an ex lover. <laughs> that must Larry. Yeah, like beans uh, yeah. with a Z beans, is a like, different vibe. That's a funny joke or something. But Larry is going to be like, is that your son? Was that your husband? I know. I really <laughs> want to be like, was it also? Yeah, Larry. Oh my God. Fully, I think, I can't tell if it's on her arm or her leg, but oh, I think it's leg. Wow. So, and what's so funny, I tell Chip, I go, I got to tell you, Larry has already made the, the leaderboard. <laughs> I was like, it took beans eight years before she got a tat. Now, I was like, I think she stayed with Larry a total of eight days. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, this is, Larry got right in there. Larry could have been, I mean, she didn't even wait to make sure you guys were going to keep Larry completely. (laughs) She's already planning the design, so... (laughs) <laughs> hey, it's good to be king, I guess. Good job, Larry. You deserve for, it. I mean, so like I haven't I haven't tattooed uh, my dog on me. And you don't have to. And there's two of the dogs on our dog walker. And but it's just the names which I love too. It's not Be- even like a picture of the dog. It's just their names. So it's great. Well, I, I told you the a third dog she has tattooed cuz it was Beans and yeah. then like months later she got a, her other favorite dog tattooed okay. name on. Oh yeah, yeah. What His was- name is Eddie Money. <laughs> So, like, everyone thinks that's just she's a huge fan of 80s singer that's Eddie Money, great. but it's actually on a, about a pug. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, this Ooh. has been fun. Speaking of, Larry's just staring at me being like, I see the sun descending. Where yes. is my W-A-L-K? Oh, shoot. You know what's up. Uh-oh. Well, this was a good time. I'm excited yeah. to see 
um, how the kombucha affects your body. <laughs> yeah, I feel really energized right now. Really? This might have had caffeine in it, so I might have to go home and drink some weed uh, okay. swiftly. <laughs> Just not 60 milligrams. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this got weird. Mm-hmm. 